you see, we have managed to, to um, transform this, <coughs> this uh, place into a very desirable mall, as well as the one in Bridge Street. And um, we have built offices in the buildings, over 75,000 square feet of very, very nice offices for government employees. And uh, I am really, really happy to, to see the kind of accommodation that we were able to create for, for government employees because I know that when they're comfortable, they will help us get what we want to get done. I am looking forward to, to building some nice offices for the town planning department soon. <laughs> we like to see each of the 35,000 houses in Barbados have got um, sort of our region also have sort of um, for, for about it. And we like to see every business has got a significant roof area put that roof area into sort of photovoltaics, put the hotels. We do have a project going on now with the hotels to help them find ways to improve the efficiency of energy usage, to help them to go into renewable energy. And we're trying to search for funds now to make sure we have facility in place that can help the hotel industry to um, generate more of its power for itself and so reduce its energy costs. We're also working with the the IDC to help the IDC put into sort of photovoltaics the roofs of all the industrial estates that has got once again so that we can have some base, some 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 major utilities size projects there to make sure we get the renewable energy that we that we want. Given the mandate of the Williams Evergreen Limited, which is to find ways to reduce energy use by conservation and improve efficiencies, and to find ways to generate electricity from renewable sources, this company is therefore taking a substantial lead in realizing the dream of the late Prime Minister. I want to make the point equally as well, that in this year's financial statement and budgetary proposals, as you no doubt are aware, we issued for consumption and usage by the people of Barbados, both domestic households and private businesses, the largest and most extensive set of concessions and incentives granted to any sector in Barbados bar tourism in the post-independence era. That demonstrates the government's solemn commitment to moving forward, not only in word, but also in deed. I would also like to make the point that we want to ensure not only that these incentives are available, but that com the companion financing to ensure that startup businesses such as this, but which are of course in some respects not as well endowed as those in the Williams Group, ensure, to ensure that those businesses uh, are able to get access to low cost capital. And I see some of the representatives of financial institutions here, and we encourage them to take advantage of the opportunities which we are going to provide for those companies for tax write-offs in their uh, returns on corporation taxes to ensure that they make available to businesses and domestic <coughs> users the opportunity to purchase and buy into this dream or this raw reality for us to produce alternative energy. Indeed, I should point out that one of the key parts of the presentation in the financial statement of budgetary proposals was the creation of a $100 million uh, facility run through the central bank to ensure that persons have access to that low-cost financial.